Last weekend, the University of New Hampshire football team defeated Central Connecticut State 33-3 at Cowell Stadium. Leading the way for New Hampshire was Dontre Peters, who racked up 197 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Uh, from what we saw, some guys came free. Um, run blocking, I thought we were, we were pretty effective. You know, obviously when you rush the ball for that many yards, Tim, you know, somebody's blocking some people up front. I think the guys get a good job of, of, of doing their combo blocks, get on people, stay on them, and I thought all the running backs, you know, you know, Setian, uh, obviously Dontre saw good th saw good spaces and made good reads and made good cuts. Even RJ on his reads and riding the side stuff was pretty good. So they did a good job there. You know, um, you know, we, we we did our multiple sets there. We, you know, we went no backs, we went two backs, we went through, we did what we do, you know, and fortunately, what it, when we were hitting some run plays, Tim, we felt comfortable with the plays we were calling, so we didn't get into a lot of, you know, riding the side pitch type of things, you know, and speed sweet stuff like that. We stayed with what we thought was going to be successful for us, and and it did within our within within the, within the offense. So we didn't have to throw the ball. Didn't have to throw it. No, we did. You know, and um, when we did, a couple of play passes were pretty good for us. You know, we got some guys in open space. We converted. The thing we didn't do is protect the passer well on third down. We got to be better than that. We better be much better than it this week. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. You know, you've been here with me, Al, since this started. You know, Rutgers probably was the closest physical size, the way they played the game. Every opportunity to, to play in a game like this, uh, you know, it, it, it's from growing up to where you are right now. You know, you're the, 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 the other guy. You're the little guy, you know, and you're challenging the big guy, you know. And, you know, if, if it go back to high school, it would be like a Class C team playing a Class A team. You know, it's, it's a team that's saying, okay, we're good. You know, but you guys are here. You know, we're going to come in the gym. We're going to play. Or we're going to get on the field. We're going to play. You know, and you got to match that. You know, and, and for that one day, you know, you got an opportunity to to do something. This weekend, the Cats will travel to Heinz Field to take on the University of Pittsburgh. Kickoff is scheduled for 1 p.m.